We live in a world where people have never been more connected. We live in a world where any individual is just one push of a thumb away from the biggest celebrity on earth. That said, if you want to get the attention of a celebrity, it takes something a little more engaging and compelling than simply sending an email. For those of you who don't know me, I am Viva Fry, a Montreal litigator turned YouTuber. I've been making YouTube videos for five years. This is Barney the Frenchie. Say hello, Barney. For those of you who have been watching my channel for any period of time, you'll know that I occasionally make creative videos to try to get the attention of celebrities and YouTubers that I like and follow. I made an awesome deep... I made a very funny parody video of Jack Conte's original video to try and get Casey Neistat's attention. Hi Casey, this is Viva Fry. I'm a commercial litigator turned YouTuber. This is just between you and me. You and me and, well, I guess my, my two kids in the background. Just between you, me, and my kids, and well, okay, yeah, and one of my dogs, and oh yeah, that's right. This dog, also one of my other dogs. I made a couple of videos using my piano skills to try to get PewDiePie's attention. Leave your entries in the A while back I watched a documentary called Man on Wire about Philippe Petit and if anybody hasn't seen the movie or doesn't know who Philippe Petit is if you don't know who Philippe Petit is, he is the man that tightrope walked across the World Trade Centers by sneaking up one World Trade Center, shooting a rope with an arrow onto the other World Trade Center, pulling out his cable line, and tightroping free style, whatever it is. No ropes, no support, no nothing. Tightrope walking between the two World Trade Towers. The documentary Man on Wire was beyond a documentary. It was a love story. And ever since having watched the movie, there are two questions I have been dying to ask him. I need to ask him these questions. I needed to agree to a 20 minute interview with me. For the last year and a half, I've been tweeting at Philip occasionally, just trying to get his attention so that he would agree to give me a 20 minute interview in New York City. I never got a response. Not because I'm an insignificant, which might be the reason, but probably because, like with all big celebrities, they get inundated with tweets, emails, requests. They don't even see half of them to ignore them in the first place. But I'm gonna get his attention. And I am going to rely on my creativity, video making, and physical skill to do it this time. You ready? He's ready. This is a slack line. This is the slack line winch. This is a helmet because safety first. Philip, I'm gonna do something I've never done before, never even tried before. I'm doing a backflip off of the slack line into the snow. That's pretty good. Let's go straight to backflip. Mm. Oh my gosh, I did it on the first try! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, I did it on the first try! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Philip, Philip, you have to give me an interview now. You, you have to give me an interview. That was. <sighs> okay, I think we should call it quits for the day. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Philip Petit, I'm in New York very soon. Please, I'm gonna tweet you out. I'm gonna tweet you this video. Give me an interview. 20 minutes. I'll buy the coffee. Peace out. Okay, you want to see what daddy just did? Yeah. Watch what daddy's gonna do right now. Daddy is crazy. Oh my gosh, I did it on the first try! <laughs> you have to give me an interview now. You you have to give me an interview now. Does Philip have to give me an interview now? No. What?